Now what we want to do is uh, taking a look at the way the web page has been built and this is one of the really nice features of building it with div tags as opposed to things like a table is that you can start to dynamically change uh, the content and the layout uh, based on uh, the size of the browser. So this is going to help you uh, down the road when we get into more advanced HTML5 content and we're dealing with what's called responsive websites. So to do that let's get it back into our code here and I'm going to uh, insert a couple of rules and this is something that's very new. So let's uh, go into our CSS uh, page and we're going to, uh, I'm going to scroll up until I find uh, my container area because I'm going to alter how that container looks depending on uh, the size of the browser. So I'm going to put a couple of blank lines in here and I'm going to start right here and I'm going to add a new line. I'm going to say at media space screen and there's different types of media the print is one and uh, right now we're focusing on the screen and what I'm going to do is say and round bracket max underscore or hyphen width colon and I'm going to put in 680 px pixels and close off the round bracket and then have an opening brace a couple of uh, blank lines and then I'll put in a closing brace and the reason why I'm saying 680 pixels is I want to start to change the look of the container when uh, this uh, condition becomes true. So put in a pound sign and say container, open the brace, and then put in a closing brace. So we're going to encapsulate uh, some of the container settings based on what we had um, uh, from up here. So I'm going to start off by uh, saying, well, I'm going to set the width of the container. It's now going to become, uh, we'll say, 500 pixels instead of the, uh, the 720 that it was. Uh, the padding, we'll uh, make it, you know, we'll keep it at 20 pixels. Uh, we can go to the background, and it's not necessarily that we change the background color, but I'm uh, going to be changing the background, though, um, so it's a, a different color so you can see the effect when uh, we're scrolling the, or resizing this and the minimum height uh, we'll set that up for uh, about 480 pixels give us uh, plenty of room okay now that's pretty straightforward we have a closing bracket that goes with the container and then the closing bracket or brace I should say that goes with the uh, the media screen I'm going to add another one I'm going to say at media screen and oops, and say max width colon and in this case I'm going to say it's going to be uh, I will go with uh, three, 380 and the reason why I'm choosing 380 is because I was originally thinking of three tw um, yeah, 320 but there's uh, we put extra padding around our uh, container so just to accommodate that extra padding I'm going to say around 380 and again these are numbers that you can start to play with what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this information here copy it and then I'm going to paste it in here so I don't have to type in the whole thing again and I can go in and start to change the content so I'll say for example make that 320 uh, the padding we have less real estate space so let's reduce the padding down and uh, the color again I'm going to change the colors so you can uh, see the effect when we start to uh, uh, minimize this and uh, I'm going to change the number here but something else I'm also going to do I'm going to also alter the uh, uh, that aside container remember we have the if I go to demo hyphen aside hyphen content and this is the uh, the ID for that uh, container, the aside uh, container that we typed in. And what I'm going to do is I'm say display colon none, which means I don't want to see that uh, aside container. So this little area here is going to disappear when this rule kicks in. So let's test that out. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to go over to my browser, and I'm going to refresh the browser. So. So far, nothing uh, looks different. Now, when I grab the uh, edge of the browser and start to shrink it, watch the background color. See how it changes color when I get down to this particular size. But we can still see the aside container. And again, as I start to shrink it down even more, there. Now it's yellow. Uh, this is our yellow background, but you also notice the aside part has completely disappeared. 
and the links and everything else still work and I haven't reorganized any content it's just uh, the, the size the width of things and also uh, having the side uh, container disappear when you get the browser to a certain size. So this is the beginning of building what's called a responsive uh, website where the content starts to change uh, depending on the browser or on the mobile device that you're working with. But the nice thing is you're starting to learn how you can build a website once and then have it delivered everywhere which is the real power of uh, web applications.